Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jacksonville. Thank you, Duval. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. God bless you. Um, really, for the chairman to take the time to come to Florida, to come to Jacksonville. God bless him. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Love you, brother. We got 19 days to go. Are you ready? Yes. Have you had enough of his bullying? Yes. Have you had enough of him treating teachers like dirt? Yes. Have you had enough of a governor that is so arrogant it's unbelievable? Yes. All he cares about is millionaires and billionaires? Yes. He doesn't care about us. No, he doesn't care about working folks. No, he doesn't care about anything that really matters to real people in a real way. You know what he does care about? Running for president in 2024. Yes. That's all he cares about. That's all he thinks about. That's all he's doing. That's why our property insurance is through the roof. He has completely taken his eye off the ball on affordability in Florida. You know, Florida is rated the most expensive state to live in in America. More than California, more than New York by Forbes magazine. And you know it because you're living it. Have you tried to fill up with gas lately? Yeah, well, he didn't do anything about it until right before Election Day. What an insincere son of a gun. I mean, come on. How stupid does he think we are? I think he does, and he's pretty damn wrong, as you know. You know, and how about your utility bills? You seen them go up? I have, too. You know who regulates the utility companies in our state? It's something called the Public Service Commission. And you know who appoints the members of it? The governor. And they have become the lapdogs of the utility industry instead of the watchdogs for the people of our state. It is not. You are correct, my friend. Everybody here knows that, but we got to telegraph it like you just did. And it's important. So thank you. Well, I've had enough of this clown. I know you have. You know, this guy went to Harvard and Yale. And he can't figure out what's important in education in Florida. That is shocking. It's unbelievable. You know, we've lost 9,000 teachers and staff in our Florida schools on his watch. 9,000. The property insurance that we're having to pay in the state of Florida is three times the national average and is the most expensive in America on his watch. This is his Florida. This is what he's done to our state. He has torn apart our people. He is a divider, not a uniter. Right. If you're LGBTQ, he talks you down. Yeah. If you're a woman, you got no respect. Yeah. None. Right. Right. I'm an only son. I was raised with three sisters. I understood the importance and the respect that women deserve as a little boy. Right. He hasn't figured it out as a man. Yeah. But we know it. Right. When he signed a bill, this legislative session, the 15-week bill, that didn't even an abortion ban that did not even include exceptions for rape or incest. Is he out of his mind? Yeah. Evidently yeah. so. Yeah. And then just last week we heard this sad, tragic story from Planned Parenthood having to treat a middle school aged girl near Jacksonville who was a victim of incest, uh, became yeah. impregnated, yeah. and because of the law DeSanta signed couldn't get the cure she needed and the care she needed. She had to go out of state. That's what Ron has done to our state. Enough is enough. Help is on the way. We got 19 days to get this done. And this race is tight as a tick. Now I need you to do something for me. Go out and vote for Val. All right. All right. We need a great turnout. We need a great turnout for all up and down the ticket. Go out and vote for Adam. It's important. We got to have those people in the cabinet. You know, go out and vote for Aramis. We need these people to win. Vote for our state Senate candidates, our members of Congress. Leave no Democrat behind. <laughs> and I guarantee you, in 20 days, it's going to be oh happy day. Finally. God bless you. Thank you for coming out and vote like hell. God bless you.